Good morning. I feel like my phone is setting crooked. So, how are you? <clears throat> it is Wednesday. Um, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I have been going to bed so late. And in the morning, I'm paying. Because I'm tired. Good morning, Vicki Maxson. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so... We are in John 14, verse 27, and I just want to say, I don't know if she's going to come on this morning, but my friend's daughter that I prayed for, Shannon, she got the good report from the Lord, hallelujah, so we thank God for, um, for that, got to give those praise reports. Um, so yeah, that's good news. I was so excited when I got the email from her that it was a good report. So, all right, verse 27, which is actually the last verse I read before I got off yesterday. My thumb itches. Okay, so I'm sitting here scratching my thumb. Good morning. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? You, but I told you, so you knew. <laughs> uh, Shannon's. Got a good report. So we're going to go to John 14, 27. I leave the gift of peace with you, my peace. Not the kind of fragile peace given by the world, but my perfect peace. Peace. Don't yield to fear or be troubled in your hearts. Instead, be courageous. Um, the world has a form of peace that is dependent upon this, that, or the other, whereas God's peace that Jesus is giving us is not dependent upon anything but him, which is the best thing to depend upon. So we can take that peace and we can hold on to it all day because it, it even in the midst of storms and all of that, you can still be in a place of peace. And I've experienced that where everybody else is kind of going, woo, wacko a little bit. <clears throat> but it was like, yeah, it'll be all right. It's good. Chill. Chill. <laughs> it's that kind of peace. It says, remember what I've told you in verse 28, that I must go away, but I promise to come back to you. So if you truly love me, you will be glad for me since I'm returning to the Father who is greater than I. Now, you know that the disciples were having a hard time hearing Jesus say that he was going. He's going away and he's like, be at peace. I'm going, but it'll be good. Good morning, Debra. You know, I, I, I have to go away. I have to go back to the father because he's greater than I. And they're, 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 you know, I can imagine being pretty upset. Good morning, Joseph. Um, <clears throat> but he's saying, if you, you'll be glad. <clears throat> knowing where I'm going. Once you get an understanding, you're going to be glad about where I'm going. <clears throat> it says, so when all of these things happen, you still trust and cling. So even though he was going away, he's like, I'm giving you this gift of peace. The circumstances that are going to happen to you after I leave are going to be bad. A lot of things are going to happen. A lot of turmoil, a lot of persecution. I mean, if you read the book of Martyrs, Every single one of these people that he's discipling was martyred. And they were not just, uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't pleasant the way some of them were martyred. You know, um, if you ever get a chance to read Fox's Book of Martyrs and find out what happened after Jesus left to all the disciples. I mean, John was put in hot boiling oil and didn't die. He came out and he didn't die. He was put on, on, the, on the Isle of Patmos. That's where he got the revelation. All these things that the disciples went through, Jesus is saying, stay in peace. Because he knew, he knew what was coming. And they did not. And they're like, Jesus is like, it'll be good. It'll be good. Just stay in peace. I have to go. I will come back. You're going to suffer, but just keep peace. As we, as we go throughout our day, there are so many things that come to try to keep us from being in peace, that try to keep us, to get us upset and frazzled and everything like that. But you know, when you trust and you just put your trust in God, even though it's hard, you can still have peace. 
you can still rest and rely on God. It says, when, <clears throat> I won't speak with you much longer, for the ruler of this dark world is coming, but he has no power over me, for he has nothing to use against me. So Jesus knew the enemy was coming, and, and, and we always have to remember, they didn't take his life on the cross. He gave it. He could have gotten down. He could have stopped it. I mean, in one of the books of the Bible, when they says, you know, uh, who are you coming for? And they're like, Jesus is. And he says, I am he. And they all fall backwards. <laughs> so all he had to do was walk off. <laughs> and they never could have taken him to the cross. But why did he go to the cross? Because he loves us. For the joy that was set before him. No, not just me, joy. <laughs> but for all y'all. <laughs> For everybody, for even those who don't know him, love him, and care about him. He went to the cross for them. When we were still in our sin, he died for us. He went to the cross for those who did not want anything to do with him. And he didn't have to. They had no power over him. He gave his life for us. He says, I am doing exactly what the Father destined for me to accomplish so that the world will discover how much I love my Father. He did exactly what the Father wanted. He didn't waver. Even when he was in the garden and he was like, take this cup, he wasn't wavering. He wasn't wavering. He just knew what he was going to have to go through was a bitter cup that he was going to have to drink. He wasn't wavering. It says, now come with me. So now Jesus is about to really give some conversation. Like I said, I love these verses of scripture that happen right in here because Jesus just really fills in a lot of holes of things that he didn't say while they were walking with them. He tells them about Holy Spirit and it's just, it's, it's getting good. <laughs> It's getting good before we get to the cross. He wants them to know a lot of things. So the, we're reading the last words that Jesus spoke to his disciples. We already read the last words that he really spoke in public other than it is finished and I am he. Uh, but these are the last words he spoke to his disciples. This is like, okay, I'm leaving you a little note so you'll know what's going on. And how grateful are we? to John and to, to Matthew and to Mark and to Luke that they wrote down these things that happened. So we can see and have the example and know that we can be at peace even in the midst of turmoil. I know that there's a lot of things going on in the world uh, outside of what we can control, but then there's things going on that we can't control. But we have to receive that gift of peace and walk in that peace. And we need to walk and do exactly what the Father destined for us to accomplish. We get so off from what God has told us to do in our lives that sometimes we need a course correction. And that's what Jesus is going to give them all is a course correction. Because they were living their life one way, listening to the, the uh, Sadducees and the Pharisees and the people in the temple. And then Jesus came and said, okay, let me just kind of correct this because... They're giving you all these laws that you can't keep because being a Christian is not about keeping a book of rules and laws. It's about a relationship with Jesus. And now he's going to teach them how that relationship is about to get even better because he's not just going to be walking alongside of them. He's going to be walking and living inside of them. Hallelujah. Oh, time is gone. I have to go. So let's pray. So Father, we thank you that this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, today we receive your peace in our lives so that as we go through our day, we can walk in your perfect peace. Lord, we, we honor you today as our Lord, as our Savior. We thank you for the life that was given for us when we were in our sins you gave your life for us and father we thank you that you are fixing those things on the inside of us as you live and walk through us you are are helping us to be in that place of perfect peace and so father i just pray today for anyone who is not in peace that they will find your sweet peace today and lord i thank you for the good report for uh uh 
Michelle's daughter. And I thank you for the good report for Jennifer that she got yesterday. Praise God for that. And Lord, I just give you all the glory, honor, and praise. I pray healing for anyone who is sick that they would be healed and whole in the name of Jesus. I thank you for everybody that's watching today and that will watch today. Lord, I just ask for your blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. And by the way, my Tuesday was much better than my Monday. Hallelujah, praise God. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, and I shall see you in the morning. Bye.